Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Get that bell notification on too so you don't miss out on a video. Last time we were here, we were diving in to all the new content with the new content creator packs and the free update. And uh, I'm really glad that we got that video out to show you all. Um, in today's video, we are going to be diving in to detailing level 5 industry areas as well as new factories we have uh, some unique factories that we can place in and i have some great spots for them and that is going to be the content of today's video so uh why are we doing this well uh, i actually pre-recorded this video ahead of the wednesday video because uh you know with the way my recording schedule lines up i wanted to make sure that i could get that wednesday video out for you which was it was a bit of a tight squeeze to be honest uh so this video i had to record right after the monday video so that I could make sure that uh, I maintained our schedule. So I was trying to figure out what to do and I wanted to do something that I wouldn't spoil in the Wednesday video. So like I couldn't do like a massive bridge or something like that because then uh, then it would be a big spoiler in the Wednesday video. So um, yeah, why are we doing detailing today as kind of the main focus as well as unique factories? Well, uh, when we finished up two of our industry areas, that is the ore industry and the forestry area. They were kind of done as a part of a larger project, kind of on the side. And because of that, we never really got to fully complete them. They work, they work fine, but um, I think that if we add in these unique factories, it's gonna push their limits a little bit. So we're gonna need to add to them and then we're going to need to detail them. So that is going to be the focus of today's video. Um, I'm hoping that it's going to be a bit of a shorter video, but um, <laughs> I never know until I'm done. So let's hop out and take a look at the area. So here we are at our ore industry, which is out in Walsenburg, which is close to the downtown. It's kind of like a transit oriented development of uh, the area uh, coming out of an older town. So the ore area is right beside the oil industry. And the oil industry is something that we did last week and it's already detailed so we're good there the forestry industry is all the way over here so that'll be something we do last if we have time uh, so there's two factories I want to get and uh, I think there's some great spots for them that we can uh, you know add this in so the first one we're gonna look at is actually going to take place in the oil industry and that is the Household Plastics Factory. Now, why are we putting this one out in the oil industry? Well, y you see, it says that we need petroleum and plastic for it. And there's only one area that produces that. So I wouldn't want to put it somewhere, say, over here. Uh, in, uh, you know, this, in this area. It's, it's, it's a good location for a factory. It's close to a, a cargo station. But you know what? We're gonna just be moving that those goods across the city when in reality, we could be saving space and not clogging up our train networks if we put it over here. This way, all the goods are moved by truck, not train. We're saving space and, um, and, and time. So I have a good location picked out for it. And you know, I think it still works with the theme of this area because uh, you know, Pulaski is kind of like a town. Maybe this is a bit more specialized industry area or specialized industry knowledge. And I think we can place it right up in here, right off the highway. It's a great location for a factory. So let's remove this fence that we have for the oil industry. We're gonna remove these ones as well. And we're gonna place it right in this little zone here. So let's choose a good height. And that, that is going to be very important because we're gonna actually level it out off of this height. So we're going to choose this one right here. Okay, so we just buffed it out. Nothing too fancy at all. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to take an asymmetrical road and connect to that node just straight like that. Okay, so I just changed this up slightly so that we have a bit of a better curve into where the factory is going to go. And the factory is going to slot in right in here. And um, by the way, uh, so this truck shouldn't be using this road. I don't know why it is, but people are using this sneaky abandoned road uh, from the old factory. 
Um, and I guess it's a quick and easy way to get to work if you can sneak in. Maybe you're late to work and you're uh, trying to avoid your boss. So let's uh, let's get this in and just kind of approach this at an angle in which we know the factory is going to fit in. So we'll just kind of move it around until we get a, a good location for it. I think um, I'm trying to find where the sign is for the factory itself, like the business. And I think there's no sign. I think it's this is the only real sign we have. So let's try and rotate it so that it's visible uh, to the most people. Also, while we're doing this, we can check out the asset. There doesn't seem to be the, like there's any doors. Oh, there's a door right here. A bit tricky to see with those trees. So we want to make sure that we play into that right there as well. So you know what we might actually end up doing here is we might end up just flipping this building around all together like this. And then pushing it like here, like this. Because as you can see, we have some space on the asset itself to do this. All right, so we have the basics in here now. So I just had to decide how I wanted to approach the parking lot and uh, the whole placement of this asset all together. But I think this will end up working out in the end. Um, I think I actually wanna bring this one right down to here. So let's level out the terrain as best we can. If it doesn't allow us to, I think we will just move it back yet. Yeah, it doesn't, so let's put it back right here. We could try and line it up with this side of the building instead then. I think that's probably a better option. So um, I actually don't mind all the terraforming in this instance because, uh, you know, this factory definitely has the money to do it. Um, and I think it'll look good in the end. It's a great location for this asset in particular. And we have a really sneaky way of getting um, uh, everything kind of functioning for this uh, factory. And why is that? Well, normally when you have a factory, you need to have a warehouse that houses both of these pretty close by well we do um plastics oh that's metals for some reason why metals oh for for that uh but then over here we got the petroleum so you know like really close by there's all the factories we already need all the all the goods so um pretty much all this is is placing it down detailing it up and you know we're done we're making money so let's uh, add some detail to this area. And first thing I like doing with the unique factories is moving the spawn point to where it actually, to where actually the f trucks would go into the factory. So that's right in here. Now I'm gonna try to keep it away from this road as much as possible to avoid any potential issues. Uh, but since we have the parking lot here, let's just run a fence around it. I think that's probably the best bet. I think that'd be realistic to see. We're going to run with, I guess, the oil industry fence, but I think the oil industry fence has a bit of like barbed wire. And I'm not, uh, I don't think a, uh, a factory would necessarily want that. So let's run this to about here and then down right around the parking lot. Just like that. It's kind of centering it off, you know, employee parking, guest parking. I don't know. I don't know who would go into a household plastic factory. Um, but, uh, you know, I don't know what a household plastic factory really is. That was the amusement park fence, wasn't it? It was. So let's upgrade that. Okay, fantastic. So there's already fencing actually already built into here. So now let's get to this part. And uh, I think all we really need to do here is fill this in with concrete. And, and why concrete? Well, there's a door right here. Definitely the employees go out this way. Um, at the end of their shift or you know on their lunch break and uh, Definitely this would just be paved, you know, I don't think there's anything Special to that otherwise looks like the dumpsters are right here Maybe this is a gate in which uh, the garbage trucks comes it come come in or maybe they do come in all the way Around here and then pull up. So I think the main kind of 
asset detailing we need to do would be that employee area. And I think maybe if we just bring the pavement down to about here, I think that would be good. Okay, so employees come out of here. I don't think we need like a fence or anything around it, but maybe just from here to here we get a fence. Something like that. Uh, so then what we can do is in that little zone right there, that's where we put some picnic tables and that's where the employees would go and eat their lunch. Or maybe like a smoke break or something like that, you know? So we'll get a couple of these guys in here. That's all we really need. And then this is the back entrance, so we don't really need to do anything else with that. Um, anything, could anything go over here? Well, this is kind of the entrance, so maybe what we do is we get like a sign. There actually is a good sign in the park asset, but uh, that doesn't really work out. So why don't we see if there's any props or anything like that. So we're just going to place this sign. This is um, from one of the content creator packs, the drive-in sign. But I think it looks like a sign that you'd see uh, for this kind of thing. So I think that works out great. And then uh, definitely it needs some rundown grass alongside here. So I love placing the grass right on the edge of the uh, surface painter areas because it just really makes it seem like um, that's where the concrete ends. And, you know, they just got a little bit lazy with the upkeep of the grass so I think that works out great and then obviously when you're doing this it's best just to mix the assets the best you can slightly rotate choose a good selection of vegetation and then just switch it up every now and then so we'll walk this back and it already looks pretty darn good this one's a bit too big that's my go-to to be honest all right so we're gonna stop with the vegetation here for now and then, oh, that's great, actually, right there. Maybe we do it on this side as well a little bit. Fantastic. So, Steven, if we were to, you know, tie into these warehouses, like we're saying, all the trucks would have to go through the toll booth and out, and that's going to cause just a ton of traffic. Well, yeah, so I think what we can do is maybe repurpose this old road right from here and just redraw it a little bit and i think this could play out really well with the story of this road uh, in the first place maybe the fact maybe the factory is owned by some rich mogul and they were like we need this road attached inside of the factory area and the factory area is like yeah we trust you all good you're monitoring the road for security reasons uh, but they didn't want to purchase the land so what they did is you know they just use this old right of way and I think if we just come out on an angle like this and then turn off zoning right there so we don't lose that building and then as long as our guidelines are all on I think this would play out pretty well what we'll do is we'll bring it out to here there we go so we're connecting into the bottom node right there and curl up like that and then what we can do is this road won't connect anymore we won't receive any secret trucks sneaking up into Pulaski but now you can see that the original trajectory of this road was you know as it has been so far so people can still use this now to walk down like we had just seen earlier in the episode All right, so I think we need to showcase that there's some attempt at a uh, at, at extra security on the part of the uh, oil industry. So I think the best way to do that would be to have like a watchtower here. And you know, this watchtower, all it does is just monitor um, for fires and everything like that, but also for security. And I think maybe what we can do is place it right here. So we don't disrupt too, too much. So they'll, they'll be up there and then they can watch all the trucks coming in and out. And I think that could play well. You know, we're keeping the game function in place. We're keeping the themes in place while also trying to sneak the city a bit more money uh, than we've previously had. So let's just smooth out the terrain here. 8.1%. Well, that is a lot, uh, but I think it's fine. So uh, I just realized we didn't keep the lore that there was 
uh, the ability to walk down this road still. So I think the best way to kind of keep that and the security in mind is to just say that there was like a break in the fence. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Um, now it's just a matter of making sure that the building looks decent. So let's smooth out this. All right, so there we have it. The household plastics factory is up and running. Let's bump it up. There we go. We'll get it going soon. So now you're driving up this area here and you can see the sign like, oh, that's the household plastics factory. That's where we get our household plastics. But also you can kind of sneak a peek right here and be like, oh, okay, so that's what they do um, over there. And then also if you're coming from this way, you probably know what it is. Or maybe there's a different sign somewhere down the road earlier. Uh, but hopefully this all ends up playing out pretty well. I don't think there's going to be too much traffic on this road. We'll have to watch it though, so we'll see. But hopefully all the traffic comes from uh, over here, coming down from the oil industry. So I think all in all, it fits pretty well into the area. It employs Pulaski more, which is great because, um, you know, got to get those jobs out in rural areas. And uh, one thing we could actually do is look at the bus lines because I think maybe we could tie in a bus line just to stop here. So we have the two Pulaski lines. One of them is an express, that's the green one. And then one of them is more like a uh, a normal line. It's actually for mini buses, but why don't we get this one to stop right here? And then over here, we'll have it stop right there on the country road. So it's just like a stop sign on the country road. So the bus knows what it is, it's for uh, workers and people going to the household plastics factory that don't have a car so I think all in all it's gonna play out well so we'll come back to this see if everything's playing out okay and let's go all the way down here take the new highway through this way down into Walsenburg past the future Winslow Metro and we arrive at the ore industry so what's the next step we're gonna do well I think the next step is to probably get the second of two unique factories in today's episode and that one is the electronics factory so why the electronics electronics factory well I think that it could play well in this area so first of all it takes glass and metals fantastic we're producing glass and metal right here it's so close by, you know, the ore industry. Um, and then it also produces, needs plastic, which is, you know, one train stop away or, you know, a, a good drive. So I think this would be a great spot to get the electronics factory. Now, I was also thinking about the modular house factory, but we need to import plain timber. And I think maybe we need to create a destination cargo hub for this one. The theme of this build is to kind of utilize the spaces we already have for these unique factories. So the electronics factory can slide in pretty good. So should it slide in here? Well, I guess it could technically fit inside of this zone, which would be neat to do. It would be neat to fit it in. Um, I think I'll try to fit it into this zone here, but if not, we have a great spot right here, right beside the highway. And why is this a great spot right beside the highway? Well, for one, looking at the building, it looks like it has some offices on it, which is really cool. But also if we look at the back end of it, you know, it has a really nice uh, office on that side too. But if we place it over here, I believe the symbol, yeah, the um, right where it says construction cost, the Leto uh, would be very visible from the highway. So I think that would play out really well. Um, you know, being so close to the train line as well, we could add our own, our very own cargo station which, you know, might be useful, uh, but I think we could play it so that we maintain just using the ones we currently have. So let's try and fit it in here first. If it doesn't really work out, then we're going to just change, change plans and start building it over here. Why do I want it on this side so bad? Well, I feel like keeping it closer to the town would be a good idea. Um, you know, in the industry area itself would be definitely better for the cargo uh, traffic in the area. There's not a ton of traffic in the ore industry, right? 
uh, as of right now it's all seems to be seem it all seems to be exporting so having something importing would definitely be good because this is a pretty good setup for the ore industry so let's try this out by extending this road oh just out this way okay so should it really be on this road probably not so we need to get it to fit in at a proper angle right so let's try and get that happening so we place this down like this and then what we can do is we can plop it down uh, right in here and you know it looks like it could fit um, the only thing I have a concern about is like I definitely see we think we can get this to fit right like here let's just get it to fit right now Ta-da, it fits, technically, right? Um, you know, you have a good view of Leto Industries. You have a good factory bay right there. Definitely think this this works. Um, all in all, I you know, genuinely, I think this is a pretty good area. We have a nice spot for a warehouse right here. Uh, but does it really fit the lore of this area? Well, maybe Leto Industries is owns this mining company. Maybe Orton County Ore has a stake in Leto Industries and they sold them this land on a good lease or something like that. So, you know, maybe it does fit. And maybe we can save this space for another factory um, if it doesn't interfere with the airport uh, at all. So maybe this is a good idea after all. So let's level this out a little bit to get it to the right kind of location. So let's get this all to this height. And then let's grab the factory, put it to that height as well. That would probably be good. And then this build, uh, this node as well, we should get to that height. And I actually think we should uh, do a few things different. So uh, this industry road, what we should really do is upgrade it similarly to what we did with the last one. So let's upgrade this so that we have better turning lanes coming in and out. Um, this one here should actually also be upgraded as well. We'll flip it around like that so that we have multiple turning lanes coming in and out of here this is going to be an increased junction now uh, let's also fix the node and then over here let's put the no parking roads down in here um, so unfortunately I think we're gonna need to redraw this in because the street lights I would love to be on the other side Okay, very good. So it looks like the deliveries would come down into here and then go right into this bay. Um, now I definitely think maybe what we should do is run a backup uh, road in here. So let's grab an industry road and we'll use the industry road one unit. And we're just going to run a road from about here, I think. And then what we need to do is just connect this in like that. So now it looks like the uh, trucks will turn at this crossing but let's get these all to the same height there we go and then what we'll do is we'll run this road along the back side of this factory okay fantastic so uh, we're gonna need to fence off this zone here and that's okay we'll definitely get to that um, in a few moments but first of all let's get all these nodes and set them to the same height as the factory there we go and then this node here we're gonna do the same thing and then it looks like there's two nodes right here okay well look at that oversight from months ago holy moly let's fix that there we go so it kind of slopes down but that's a-okay with me and then we just need to grab the fence just bring it right down to here. Looks okay. Yeah, it's fine. And then what we'll do is we'll connect the fence up. Like that. Looks like it's two different fences. Okay, well, let's upgrade the fence to this one. Okay, fantastic. So um, we're leaving lots of space here, but I think that's uh, totally okay. Um, 
But now that we're at this side of the factory, let's take a look at what's happening here. Well, it uh, looks like the garbage gets picked up from over here. It looks like maybe um, there's a special parking over here for a certain employee type, employee group. But uh, there's also a fence along here, and there's a gate right there. Maybe some items come in and out of here. So what I think we need to do is we need to get a road from here into here. And then what we can do is we can utilize this extra space to get that extra factory or extra warehouse in. So let's get that road at a great location. Very good. Uh, I think we also need to get this node and maybe this one to this height. And then we have a pretty, got a bit of a, a slight slope down into here. So it also looks like it's okay if we raise this node up. So let's grab both of these nodes and get it to the factory height. Yeah, I don't see an issue with this actually. Um, maybe the only issue would come from this node here, but I think all we need to do is just kind of move some things around a little bit and get this to fit properly. Very good. So yeah, lots of movement in this episode, but you know, that's okay with me. One of the best mods in the game. Ah, oh, look at that. So Leto Industries, what does it say? Electronics. Uh, looking pretty good, looking pretty good. So now let's get that extra back uh, warehouse in here. So, you know, right beside it, we have glass and we have metals. They're on empty. Pretty sure there's other factories or warehouses in, in, in and around here that are doing the same thing. So unique factory products. So that's good. We don't even need that. But no, it looks like it's just those two uh, for now. Um, so maybe it's not the best idea. But uh, I think we'll be fine because we're right beside the buildings that produce the goods. Um, but let's get that warehouse in and let's use this one. It's a bit of a bigger one. And the best thing about this asset in this situation is that we can cross into the road pretty much because the building is rectangular here, as you can see. Uh, but the building itself is only, you know, yay large. So we can, you know, say that a, a, a truck could definitely fit through here, a garbage truck. You know, come this way, back up, collect that garbage. So we're good to do this, and then all we need to do is really just, whoop, whoops, is just fill in the rest with concrete to make it seem uh, realistic. All right, so this has to be plastics. So we'll start importing plastics here, and what we'll do is we'll put this one on fill, and plastics and then uh, just to get the extra truck circulating now, I'm not sure if this is the, gonna be the right move so let me know if you think it's the right move we're gonna get another one in here it's gonna be a smaller one we're gonna connect the two so it just looks like a larger warehouse uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this one on empty and plastics so this one only has uh, 10 trucks this one has 20 trucks so hopefully with all that circulating we will be a okay so now there's actually these back gates along here um, with these warehouses. So uh, something that I don't do often is actually utilize that gate and let's let's do that. Let's utilize this gate All right, so now we have you know a really good system in place here um, for both of these factories. So before we dive into the detailing of this area uh, let's take a look at how the other factory is doing. So that's right over here. We have at 150. It looks like it has a ton of stuff, and we're making a good 2K on you know just a simple placement through here. Um, now, why are, why did I choose to do the unique factories in today's episode, um, especially ones that kind of just already fit into different areas? Well, I'm a little worried about the budget going into the new DLC. Now, since I recorded this one uh, ahead of time. Uh, so, you know, I just want to make sure that we have a good profit going into Wednesday's video, which is kind of funny because it's Friday's video. Uh, going into Friday's video. Wednesday's video. Oh my goodness. So I don't like raising taxes beyond 10%, but I have it at 11, unfortunately, for the residential. Um, you know, why? Well, I know you can get away with 12%, but I'm pretty sure that the higher you go, the lower your citizen's happiness is. And I think 10% is like a good number. It's, it's 10, you know. 
our math system works in, in groups of 10. 10 is a good number. It's a pretty fun number. So I, I don't like bumping it up to 11, so I'd like to bump it back down. But we got to make sure that we're actually making enough money because we are spending a ton of money on other things. So, you know, I don't usually show the budget, so let's show the budget. Everything's at 100%. I can probably get away with kind of min-maxing the power a little bit and the water, but I don't want to. I want to leave everything at 100%. And, you know, we're having good fluctuations in the value, so in the, you know, in everything we have going on. So by getting these unique factories in, we're going to be pumping in that extra money we need to maintain what I like with the 10% taxes and the 100% everything. You know, for some reason, Cable Cards is actually at 101. Didn't know that until right now. But, uh, oh, fact, uh, Parks is actually at 101 because if you actually bump it up to 101, you get like one extra truck and it's actually good. You, can, you should actually do that with your garbage as well. Just 101. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, so that's what the budget looks like. I'm sure I can min-max it a little bit more. But, uh, you know, Unique Factories definitely help out with the budget. Um, so, let's detail this area up. Now, why are we doing this detailing? Well, again, I didn't actually end up doing it when we were building this factory. I'm pretty sure we only dedicated the one video, one true video to the ore industry. Everything else was kind of just, you know, we're doing the train station and we're going to do this as well. We're going to do some upgrades and then we're going to, you know, build up Walsenburg. So, yeah, we kind of just ended up kind of hodgepodging it together. Uh, I think when we did the unique factory here, we added a lot, but the, you know, there's lots of green space and everything like that. So I think it'd be nice if we detailed it up. But on top of that, since we have so much residential value, uh, I want to fill in the rest of New Walsenburg just on this side. So we'll start off with that. Um, this firehouse definitely needs to be at a better location than it currently is. Uh, so this church is a really old church and cemetery. Uh, and it's um, not in the best spot in for real life, but I think it's realistic to be on this really old road. And this ore industry has kind of since taken over. So I think maybe if we get it right here, uh, I think this is a good location for the firehouse. It's off of the main road, so it could easily you know, pull out and get ready to, to go. And then it's close to the main roads. So I think we're good there. Um, I don't think we need anything on this side here of this area. I, I want to treat this as a bit more of a protected roadway. So uh, let's do that. Let's run a parallel road. Um, we're going to use the fence. So sorry, I'm just using the parallel road tool. Okay, a bit more protected. And then should we have anything right here? I also don't think we should. So we're gonna run this fence right there. So, you know, a bit of extra green space. Um, what should go over here? Well, you know, I would definitely think it would be like light industry. Now, what is the industry area in New Walsenburg? So New Walsenburg is right in here. Uh, you know, I think maybe we can throw in the agriculture, or agriculture industry zone because I don't think we have any industry. No, we don't. So by doing this, what we're going to be able to do is create some fun looking lots in here. Okay, so vacant lots. I think that's really cool to have. Uh, it's not a desirable location. Um, so I think this would be a good idea to have. We'll just throw in a spattering of trees uh, through here. And also uh, old warehouse. I think that works out great. I don't like this building, so let's delete it. Maybe this could also be 
industry. No, we'll leave it as commercial. Uh, and then over here, let's run a nice path behind the cemetery. Okay, very good. And we're actually going to run a fake desire path behind here. I'm sure that um, people would be sneaking through here and whatnot sometimes. Jump on the fence. So I think that would be a good little addition to have. So now we're kind of back more into the residential area. So I think what we'll do is we'll actually just throw residential on all in here. It's not always good to have industry and residential against each other, but in this case, because they're like vacant lots, it's kind of a gentrifying little area. I think this would be fine to do. All right. So now we're on the main road here. Uh, this isn't exactly the best spot for us to build either. This is a really, really busy road. It's against, it, it's a highway. It's literally named Highway 10. So what could be here? Well, it's also kind of the introduction into the town here. Uh, I think maybe we could have some fast food restaurants along here. Um, so first of all, I think what we should do is split the area up by running a path behind here, just like that. And then what we can do is fill in this side with residential and turn zoning off right here. Okay, so I could definitely see this being like a fast food area, right? So let's get a couple of these fast food places in here. Okay, fantastic. So now those are going to come in. We're just going to fill up this area with concrete. Now, why are we doing this? Well, I definitely think maybe we could get like some picnic tables around here. So I think maybe I'm just going to remove those trees on that path that we added in. There we have it. A nice little entrance into a town. It's got a gas station, a quiet corner shop. Okay, well, sure. And it's got a McDonald's. It's got a Shake It. It's got a Burger Bite. Um, and then, yeah, let's get uh, a couple trees in here. Fantastic. Okay, so we're not going to do anything else to the other side because uh, that'll come in a dedicated video on the expansion of this town, probably when we do Winslow. Um, okay, so now let's detail up the ore industry. And uh, let's start up at the gate. Why not? Um, what does this area need? Well, it's a gate. It's a, it's a security gate. Let's get a fence. I think that makes sense. Uh, but first of all, actually, let's check uh, the police situation here because... Yeah, so there's no security in this whole area. So let's get a security gate. Uh, it's like a security building. Uh, let's go with a one-unit industrial road. And then... I'm worried about getting it off of here, but I think this is our only location to, uh, to do this. So I'll have to do this. Uh, it looks fine. Okay, and then we'll get a police station and we'll just roll with the basic police station. Awesome, okay, so police station, that's great. We'll detail this up, fence, parking. Uh, what's gonna go over here? Well, I think just like unkept grass. Uh, right through here, it's gonna be really nice and pretty and detailed in a parking lot. Uh, over here, it'll be like a mini parkette. Um, and then through here, uncut grass, uncut grass, uncut grass. Maybe we'll get a little uh, factory here or there in addition to um, the ore industry. Now we do have a great spot to add onto the ore industry should we need, which is fantastic. Looks like everything's going well. Glass is not being produced at an, an, at an appropriate rate. So we'll need to maybe pump that up because I think we only have one glass area here it seems yeah okay so maybe we'll add a bit of glass to the area and is this in a district itself it is not okay so we can add in a mini district uh, right in this little zone through here because maybe you want to get a few ore buildings in here as well 
um, just right here, or industry buildings, like zonable or industry buildings. So this will just be called Portnor. That's all you need. And what we'll do is we will add in the right industry. Fantastic. Okay, so we'll let's dive into a bit of a time lapse, and I think I'm gonna add in a bit of glass production over here, uh, and like a mini, and like our secondary zone kind of thing that we have going on. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's do that. All right, and there we have it. So we didn't get too done today, but um, we're definitely going back in that area and we'll finish it up. And I think in a way it's a good idea because I, I have like a separate build kind of plan for a area around there and maybe we can tie it into that. Um, so, you know, all in all, I think we did good. Two unique factories and a detailing project. Um, very fun, very fun Friday. Friday detailing videos are always fun. Um, yeah, you know what? This unique factory turned out pretty nice. I like it. I think the parking is good good enough. Has a nice little area for workers. I think it fits fairly well into the town as well. It doesn't stick out too much like a sore thumb like usually like like that asset normally does. Um, I think once we get another large asset over here, it would also look pretty good. Um, when we have a park going over here as well, I think that would kind of contrast it pretty well. Um, seeing as this is kind of like the first and last thing in this area that you'd see I think it kind of plays into a lot of themes that I'm trying to relate to uh, In this series, but you know lots of just grass detailing uh, just, That just takes some time, but it's definitely worth it um, got some extra parking in as well and um, if, if we go over here, which is kind of what we ended off at I just extended it out a little bit more added in a bit more extraction and then we have a big glass plant over here. And I think if this is the only industry we get out this way, I think it's going to play out well. We have a good option here to extend out if we need more, get some more extraction as well, which is always definitely useful. Um, and then if we swing back over here, 
here is the original factory let's see how they're doing yeah this one is flowing really really nice the household plastics factory and then the electronics factory is just having a tough time getting glass so i'm glad that we built that extra section and then what we'll do is we'll bump it out uh let's see plastics is on fill so hopefully that's good this plastic is on empty glass is on empty and metals is on empty so you know i think we're doing a fairly decent job maybe what we can do just to kind of end things off is what we can do is we can add in a warehouse and what we'll do is we'll add in a warehouse of the small variety uh, which is right here and what we'll do is we'll just kind of plop that down right there and we'll place it on empty and glass and hopefully that'll shuffle some things around just enough to really move uh, the needle with glass uh, extraction or glass production so hopefully uh, that'll work and um, yeah let me know what you think about today's build do you like detailing projects um, because you know there's lots of them that we could do and it doesn't look like we're making money but i'm sure we'll be making money soon so i hope you have a wonderful day folks and we'll talk to you next time and there we go and there we go peace out